U.S. officials now blame the Syrian government for a deadly airstrike on a pediatric hospital. At least 27 people were killed in the attack on the Doctors Without Borders Hospital in Aleppo, which the U.S. says was targeted. Among the victims, many children and vital medical personnel. We get more from NBC's Bill Neely. Amid the rubble of what was a children's hospital, terrible scenes. The desperate trying to save lives, the distraught knowing their loved ones were lost. Dozens died, children, doctors, nurses. That's my family, he screams. I lost my family. Among the dead, one of the last pediatricians in Syria's biggest city. Dozens were injured in what the U.S. calls deliberate airstrikes on a known hospital tied to the aid group Doctors Without Borders. We obviously find this attack reprehensible. Missiles targeted the innocent as they slept, a war crime under international law. It is impossible that none of the forces fighting in Aleppo didn't know that this was, uh, you know, a medical facility. The U.S. and Syrians here blame the government. Why did we deserve this, she asks. Other medical centres have been hit this week as the last traces of a ceasefire disappear. It's catastrophic, says the UN. Peace talks collapsing. Thank How you. can you have uh, substantial talks when uh, you have only news about bombing and shelling? A massacre of children and of the doctors who treat them. Bill Neely, NBC News.